Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to see today's video. And if you're new, welcome. I am Bethany Shanae and my channel is dedicated to documenting my journey to lose 120 pounds through diet and exercise. I post weekly update videos every Monday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So if you enjoy this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. I'd love to have you. This is our week, our midweek update for, this is what, week four of the six weeks of summer slim down challenge. Last week, we only had half a pound of weight loss. That's not bad. It's not a gain. That's what matters, right? This week, I do have to say that as long as I don't slip up between now and Sunday's way out, we're going to have some good news. We're going to have some really good news. I'm very proud of the success I'm having so far this week. So let's do an update. Let's do an update on how I've been eating so far this week. And then I'm also going to show you what I just bought and what you can look forward to on Friday, which from when I'm recording this is tomorrow. So this week I so Sunday when I recorded the weekly the week three update I was doing a zero calorie fast I had water and coffee that day that was it and some electrolytes that didn't have stevia or anything in them Monday I fasted until 1 p.m. and I did two mad so instead of OMAD which is one meal a day I did two meals that day <clears throat> Yesterday, Wednesday, I was going to, I'm sorry, that was what, Monday, I did two meals a day. Tuesday, I did the same thing, and then the same macros that I had scheduled. Remember last week, I said that I had meal prepped and planned. Um, as of Wednesday morning, I hadn't lost as much as I would have expected. It was actually a very minute amount. So that told me that I was eating closer to maintenance calories. Um, and I'm definitely, I've been definitely eating too low in fat. So Monday and Tuesday was too mad. Wednesday, yesterday, I did OMAD, actually. I decided to see how I could, how well I would do at pushing my eating window out. And I made it until actually 6 p.m. is when I finally ate dinner. Um, I'll pop a picture up over here. It was a big plate of food. I only left behind two of those petite steaks. They were just eye round steaks. Uh, felt like my jaw was getting a workout even though they were cooked medium. Definitely a tougher cut of meat. I'm figuring out why people pay more for the nicer cuts of steak. <clears throat> so yesterday I thought I had gotten my fats higher. I think I still landed at 57% fat, which is just too low for my body. But I did have a much more impactful result this morning when I stepped on the scale. Um, yesterday when I did OMAD, I did not eat the amount of calories that I had scheduled, which I was eating Monday and Tuesday. I think I ate about 1,950 uh, because I'm not doing a calorie restrictive diet. I'm doing carnivore. But that was just too close considering I haven't been walking to my daily expenditure. So I was not making the progress I wanted. So I knew I wanted to drop down my calories. So yesterday when I did OMAD, I think I landed about 14 to 1500 calories. Um, I unfortunately didn't get higher fats in, even though I put three tablespoons of butter in my dinner. And yeah, I did have really high protein and I feel great today. It is, I'm on my lunch break. It is 145. I am still at a zero calorie fast. How I'm getting my way to doing OMAD is I drink ice water i find that if it's ice water and i start to get hungry i just chug the ice water and there's something about the sensation that i physically feel when the ice water hits my stomach that makes me not feel so hungry anymore and i drink pitch black coffee ain't nothing in there no keto or carnivore sugar sweeteners nothing <clears throat> So today I'm also doing OMAD. So that's where I'm at so far. I have not exercised at all. I am definitely seeing changes in my body. This is a really random thing. Um, but I feel like on my weekly updates so far, I've been really personal. So let's get really personal. When I had lost the 120 or so pounds back in 2013, um, I noticed something that I never thought of. When I sit on the toilet, my thighs didn't smush together as much and my stomach wasn't in the way so i could see i could look down between my thighs and see like because you know like the toilet bowl comes forward i don't sit on the edge of the toilet i sit fully on the seat so i realized i could look down and see between my thighs into the toilet well yesterday i was like let me see if i could because i feel like my stomach's getting smaller right because i can tell like if i if i lay my arms on my thighs and put my hands in front of my stomach how far out my arms have to go that's what i've been gauging yesterday I was like, yeah, I'll just look. And I looked down. If I suck in my stomach, I can see between my thighs into the, the bowl. 
TMI, I don't know if that's a weird thing to say, but that's just one of the random things that I notice when I'm losing weight, and that tells me that my body is shrinking. That means my thighs and my stomach have shrunk. So now that I'm done rambling, um, I do want to say something. Actually, I've been doing really lower fat than I thought because I'm doing the 90% lean ground beef. I think if I'm going to do OMAD or TUMAD, I need to do the 80-20 instead of the 90% lean. I think if you're going to do three meals a day, the 90% lean is better because you're going to have that extra meal that's easier to get the fat in. How I've been doing it, I'm just not able to get enough fat in in one or two meals if I'm doing the 90% lean beef. So I'm going to do a higher fat beef moving forward. I've also noticed my ketones are reading lower. I haven't broke my carnivore at all. At all. Okay. I was reading at a 0.9 ketones as of Sunday when I was at zero calorie fast. When I checked my ketones the same time of day, around the same time of day, after doing a zero calorie fast for the day, I'm still reading at lower, which tells me I'm not eating enough fats. So I upped my fats for what I have planned for today, and I'll let you guys know in the weekly update how that felt. Um, uh, but especially as a woman, fats affect our hormones, and we don't want to do too low. So if you're ever doing carnivore or keto, and you're not, not keto, if you're ever doing carnivore and you're finding that you're not losing weight very well, um, but you're doing like less than 60% cat fat or less than 63%, Try going up in your fats or try going down in your fats. If you go down and you don't start losing more weight instantly, go up in your fats. I find that 63 to 65% fat is a really good sweet spot for me. Now, for the update, and I'll wrap up this video because I did not mean to be doing this for six minutes. I got approval from my um, family that I can do a live stream because as you guys know, when I relocated to Texas, I moved in with my dad and stepmom. So it's not my kitchen. I want to run it by us. Everybody, I want to respect everybody's space and boundaries. So since I cook dinner for my family, who is on the standard American diet um, every Friday, I thought I would do lives with you guys so I could show you how I cook me meals for my family who eats carbs, but then also make it applicable for myself whether I do keto or carnivore. This week, the Friday, I'll probably end up eating keto, but I will clarify for you, the dinner I'm making, I could definitely eat just carnivore. I'm just gonna end up having salad with mine, probably, if I feel like having keto. So I got two bag salads. I'm gonna show you what I got in case you guys wanna make it with me. So I got this salad um, because it has, uh, it has a creamy dressing. It's not a sweet dressing. There shouldn't be corn in it. I think it's a low taste seasoning. Um, when I make the salad, if I have some, I got two of these in case I do want one um, because I can eat a whole bag of the salad. I'll just take out the, the toppings that aren't carnivore. I have pork chops in my house, which I'm about to put this in there and defrost for tomorrow. I got mushrooms to go with the, with the pork chops. And then we already have onions. And then I'm gonna do, I'm also on a budget. So when I cook Friday dinners, I usually try to buy it. That way, me contributing is actually me contributing. And nobody minds if I get discount stuff. So I got this. This was like a dollar or 78 cents. This will feed, this one packet will feed both my parents and my grandparents. Because most, my dad's really the only one that will eat like a full portion. Everybody else eats, you know, more healthy choice size portions. They're more health conscious. Um, and then my dad, he's like me, he can eat. Uh, but he's healthy too. I don't want there to be a mistake. And then I saw this gravy. It says Cajun brown gravy. It's like got seasoning all over it. So I'm going to do this. This is going to go on the pork chops and on the gravy. But it said Cajun. I've never had this before. So that's what I got. Um, that total, I got two salads. I got two of everything. Two salads, two gravies, two mashed potatoes. Because I can just have them for next week for their food. And um, the mushrooms, it came to $13. And the pack of pork chops I have in the house are like, I think it was like $9 last week when I bought them. So yeah, that's, so like I said, it's gonna cover more than one meal. Um, I'll see if I can do a breakdown of numbers between now and when I cook it. But yeah, I hope you guys come join me on my live. It's gonna be at 6 p.m. tomorrow, Friday, um, June 14th at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'd love you guys to come talk with me. I'm going to have my camera set up. I'll be able to see the comments and chat with you guys while I cook, um, go over menu ideas, things like that. So I hope to see you guys there. And thank you so much for tolerating my 10-minute ramble today. Thank you for coming to see today's video. Again, I am Bethany Shanae. And if you like this video, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'd love to have you.
and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.